What's up guys and welcome to the day number 6 of 15 days of OpenSea for beginners in Python. I am Chandu and I am super excited to be an instructor of this course. So in this one, we are going to learn how can you handle the mouse event. In previous part, we learned about how can you create a camera and how can you record the video. So now let's get started and jump on the code. So alright, so now I am going to click here and create a new Python file here. Let's say day number 6.py and our Python file is created here. So dash6.py. So now what you have to do you need to actually create one camera. And in previous part, that's mean day number five, you already built it. So I'm gonna do this speed coding to actually do this camera. So all right, our camera is created right now and let's check it out. It's actually work fine or not. And it will take a few seconds to actually open that. Okay, and you can see here our uh, camera is open right now. And in part number five, you actually discuss all the uh, parameters in camera, how can you create the camera and also the parameter of the camera. So please check it out, link will be in the description and you can check it out from here. Okay, okay. So now it's time to actually discuss about mouse event. To discuss about the mouse event, we need to also create one call function here. So now what are the mouse events? So let's say when the mouse is move, when the wheel is also be wheeled here, or you can press the left button or the press the right button. Okay. So these are nothing but the mouse event. So we can actually handle the mouse event. We can get the mouse event using OpenCV. So now let, let's see how can we do that. So let's say cb2 dot set mouse callback functions okay you can see a mouse callback functions and it takes some parameter so first parameter is nothing but the window name and the on mouse this is a one kind of method you need to actually implement that and first is our name called the window name so our window name should be the frame okay so this is not our frame so make sure that uh, you actually put here the same name as you can see here the, on the I am show because we are going to actually dealing with on our real time video so that's you need to put here the same frame name okay and now on mouse this is a callback functions so let's say mouse uh, let's say click okay okay so let's say mouse draw touch okay like that this is a functions we need to actually create that so for that you're going to define the method here or you can say functions sorry def and this one and okay and you're going to try to print here so now what would it will take the mouse draw catch so first it will take the event and the x coordinate and the y coordinate okay if i try to print the event here this is the event and let's save it and run the code and see the output that it actually works fine or not and it will actually successfully catch the event or not but in, in kernel, we don't see the output here. We don't see the any output because of we don't initialize the name window here. So you need to also initialize the name window here. So let's let's initialize it here. So let's say uh, cb2 dot name window. This is the extra window for callback functions, and the frame should be same name. This frame one. Okay. Okay. So now why and I run the code. It's better you can use the terminal also. You can also use the terminal. That's the Python day number six dot py. You can also use this terminal. It's available on VS Code, and you can see here this is give me some error. And you can see a mouse draw catch take three positional argument, but five was given. So you need to put in the five arguments here. So what are the arguments here? So let's see. So it will the for and the and the fourth one is nothing but called the flex. Actually, VS Code actually automatically do that. And another one is nothing but called the parents. Okay. Now if I run the code and see the output, okay. And you can see here zero. You can see here zero. Okay. We can also run this on terminal and see that it actually works fine. We can go on here and see here Python day six dot ui and see it will actually give me the zero as the event you can see here zero as the event but event is is here not it's right now the mouse move event 
but event is not catch here why event is not catch because we didn't put here any condition here okay that's why if i click here and you can see here some values appear here one four something else is appear here okay so this is nothing but the mouse event but how i actually move this mount move this mouse this is the event for zero and when i click here and you can see here some value one for something else all right click and you can see some value is happening here so to catch this event so for catching the event you can use some uh, predefined functions in open city so let's say if event equal equal to cb2 dot let's say event and you can see here some event let's say mouse move event you can also use this mouse event so let's say try to print it out that how in the mouse is moved we can say that mouse okay save it and let's say around here let's say python day six dot ui this one and see the output okay and you can see a mouse is moved mouse is moved and you can see here our message is print here so that's mean our event is catch here okay so now we can do some perform uh, actually perform using this catch okay and we can do some packs using this one and you can draw something on on here on our screen so also do that so let's see how can we actually use this one let's say e band or so let's this one this is the mouse move and let's say if e band equal to equal to cb2 dot e band so let's say mouse click or the let's say the left button click event let's say left button click and you can see left button up left button double click and the left button down you can use this is down one let's say print we're going to print that mouse is clicked okay so mouse or mouse left button sorry clicked okay this one and see here Python day number six dot py okay and run the code here and see the output and you can see a mouse move when I click here and you can see a mouse left button click mouse left button click but when we actually click the right button nothing is happened because we don't initialize here the condition here so you can see a mouse left button click mouse left button click here you can also initialize here the double click also me so let's let's initialize here so let's say a lift event equal to cb2 dot event and you can see a left button double click okay and you can print here something else let's say uh, left dub double that's a button clicked okay and now you're going to run the code here let's say python day number six dot py okay and you can see here uh, how you actually click here you can see a mouse left button click i double click here and you can see a left double button clicked okay and you can see here okay and you can also create on circle how and the button is clicked okay when the button is clicked you can also uh, create some circles where the button is clicked on the positions so let's see how can we do that so i'm going to remove these lines here or you can also comment out this line and let's say make this one make this one let's say this one uh clicked the down button now i'm going to actually create one circle so let's say cb2 dot circle and it will take some positions circles so if you miss my day number three no sorry not day number three day number four okay you actually learn about the circles a rectangle that's the basic geometry of open cb how can you use that and you can uh, see the video okay so let's say pass here our frame this is our original frame and the center so our center is actually coming from the x coordinate and the y coordinate and the radius so what will be the radius of the circle so let's say five and the color so let's say red color 50 50 255 and the, the the what is called this is called the thickness so let's call the thickness let's say two okay and now if i uh, run the code you can run it from here or you can also simply go on the terminal okay just type here python day number six dot ui 
okay and you can see here nothing is actually happening here but when i click here but circle is not appear here what's the problem circle is not appear here because of this is nothing but the frame okay frame and also this is nothing but called video and it actually take the picture of the frame in uh, 30 fps or 60 fps and it actually joining the frame then it actually make one video that's why the circle is not appear here okay i think you got it but when we are trying to show the frame okay show the frame after the white key and you can see here now the circle is visible let's see save it and also run the code on from here okay and take a while and you can see here one circle is appear here red red okay we can also increase the size here let's say increase the size and let's increase the size let's say this one 60 and i actually click on here and you can see here uh the circle is clicked you can see your circle is appear here but why this because the frame is white for few seconds okay for the one frame after so that's why it's right now visible but how we not actually put here the white key and if you don't know what is the white key just go on my first video and you already discuss about that what is the white key and how can you use that all the things on details okay so after that the hoin actually put here the white key after the white key and now it is visible okay now the problem is how can you stay this circle on our frame okay so for that we need to actually store the value of the circle so for that we're going to create one list here so let's say circle let's say circles and we are going to actually create one list and we are going to store the all the value on the circles let's say draw append we're going to actually uh, actually get all the cardinal value and store into one list okay then we can iterate to all the value from here and we can draw the circle on our frame and see how can you do that so you can also use this one and let's say remove this line so now we are going to actually iterate to all the value from here so let's say for okay so for let's say positions in circle we are going to iterate to all the value from here and now we are going to create one circle so let's say circles and i'm going to put here the frame and the positions and the and the radius let's say put here let's say 10 and the color let's say 15 comma 15 comma 255 and we are going to fill it let's say minus one okay so now let's save the code and, and run and see the output okay and take a while and you can see it clicked 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 and you can see our circle is appeared on here on the screen okay that's when you store the value but before how you actually run the code that's been after the storing the value our circle is not appear because we don't store the value before so that's but right now we store the value in our circle list so that's why our circle is visible here but when you don't store the value it's not visible but how you actually make these lines make this i am show after the white key and it'll, sh it'll show the just for few seconds because it, we give here delay of infinity and after milliseconds it actually appeared here and gone that's the main thing that is that's why it's called the keyboard binding functions okay okay so now the question is uh, how can i draw something on the screen using this uh, circle how can you do that let's say uh, decrease the size let's say three and see how can you do that so cb2 dot so how can we say the event the mouse is actually move and we can some um, draw something on our screen with using this circle let's see how can you do that and you can see here our drawing is actually started okay and you can see here we draw here okay that's so awesome okay how many mouse actually move the mouse and it actually uh, creating this one now the question is how can we actually remove this first line is appear on here okay we can also remove that using the pop method you know if you're working on the python basic call a list something else and you can also do that so for that what we can do you can also remove this here let's say uh, let's say if k equal equal to ord 
that's we're going to clear the first value let's say c when actually press q from our keyboard and it will actually clear the first value from the list and our first value is not appear here so let's say pop and pass here the zero and if i if we actually clear this all the value from here so you're going to pass here let's say k equal to wordy let's put here d for delete and we are going to make this list as a empty that our all the value is uh what do you call is uh, remove okay and see it actually worked fine or not and now you can see here just a while you can see it, 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 it actually come on here and when i press q c and you can see here our circle is removed see how it actually work here okay that's the call and you can see here we, actually, we actually draw this circle that is so awesome okay and there's the main magic of the video today for today day number six and you can see here now i can actually click uh, c from the keyboard and you can see here our existing uh existing uh what do you call circle is gone and you can see here this is my shadow okay and how you actually press d until gone that's the magic of the video for today okay and you can also deal with them uh, let's say uh, left button click or the right button click you can experiment on that and now your job is to actually support me and you and also you, your job is to subscribe my channels and share with your friends okay so this is what really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never missing an update i'll be back with the day number seven till then take care bye bye